Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're gonna to do something we don't do all that many of, and that's an actual gear review. This is the Glorifier Modular Tactical Vest and Tan, and it's a plate carrier that's made for the big boys. And it's got everything you'd want for airsoft and for real work too, if that's what you wanna use it for. We're gonna go over every inch of it, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here and you're into gear guides and gun reviews and gameplay and all sorts of other cool airsoft stuff, join us now by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. All right guys, this is the Glorifier Modular Tactical Vest in tan. It's a general purpose play carrier that's made to fit those medium to bigger size boys. And this one came from Amazon where you can get it for $75, but it's sold all over the place. It's got the G-Fire logo sewn into it, but after all of our research for this review, it became very apparent that this is literally 100% the Condor MOPC. I don't know if there's some type of common manufacturer behind the scenes and then these are sold and rebranded, but so far as we can tell, they are literally identical and they both sell for 75 bucks. So after this in-depth review, if you're in the market for one of these guys and you can't find it as one particular brand, you can probably find it as the other. And we'll put links to both of them in the description below. So let's head over and lay this guy out on the table and go over everything it has to offer. All right guys, so let's have a look at what we've got here. We're made of light, sturdy 1000D polyester with reinforced molly sutures. So it's really, really sturdy. You've got PALS webbing all over on the cummerbund, on the front and on the back for all of your modular molly attachments. You've got hook and loop molly webbing at the top so you can put more molly attachments or some Velcro patches. And on the front, at the top, you've also got hook and loop molly webbing as well. So you can put molly attachments like this radio pouch or some branding if you want it. We've got Velcro loop guides at either side of the, the chest if you want to run your radio cables or a hydration pack hose. We've got removable anti-slip Velcro shoulder pads. And one thing I noticed about both the Glory Fire and Condor version of these is sometimes these shoulder straps come with Molly style hook and loop guides and sometimes they don't. And unfortunately we got one that didn't. And then underneath these shoulder pads, you actually have completely adjustable shoulder straps with quick release buckles. Now on the front, you've got this matte pouch, which is both snap and Velcro. And actually at the moment, we've got an Altry open top triple M4 mag pouch already attached to this, but as you can see, this is just pure PALS webbing on this front flap. You can actually get a, a kangaroo pouch style shingle insert if you want to run that inside of your mat pouch as well. And on the back, you can get a little bit better look at those quick release shoulder buckles. And then you've got a emergency drag handle as well. Now on the inside of this guy, you have got breathable 3D inner mesh liner, front and back, very comfortably padded, and it also wicks moisture away. Fully functional play pockets, front and back. The front pocket actually has additional Velcro strap support for your plates if you wanna run plates in there. We currently have 11 by 14 Tactical Scorpion trauma pads in there just to give this a little bit of rigidity. Now the description for this PC says that you're gonna wanna put 10 by 12s in there, but Everything about this plate carrier seems to be a little bit oversized and it will very easily fit 11 by 14s. It secures with an adjustable cummerbund, just Velcro's in the front like most natural cummerbunds do, just like that. The cummerbund does have integrated side plate pockets that will take six by eight sappy plates. I've actually seen in some reviews where people have put six by eight in this and they stick way up to way up to here. So I would actually recommend that you run six by six plates so that they, they fit in there perfectly. We've also got adjustable waist buckles. If you wanna run this guy without the cummerbund or just for a little bit of additional security. And these have quick release buckles, just like the shoulders. Obviously we've got the tan version, but it does also come in black and OD green. And the G-Fire specs say that this cummerbund will fit all the way up to a 54 inch waist, whereas the Condor description says 48. And the main complaint in reviews that I've seen is actually that this fits really big guys. And for those medium and smaller guys, it tends to be a little bit too big, but it's a pretty easy fix. All you need to do is take the paracord where this cinches up on the elastic and on one side of it, just run it through the molly webbing at whatever size you need to make it. And then that'll be hidden inside of this back pocket and it will still be stretchable on the other side so you can get a good, good solid cinch. And then last, but certainly not least, Glorifier 
gives you a two year warranty on this bad boy. And let me just clarify really quickly here, these extra pouches, this smoke grenade pouch, the mag pouch, the radio pouch, and this gadget pouch, they don't come with the play carrier. These are all things that we added after the fact. So there you go, even on big guys like me, the Cumberland still overlaps quite a bit. I mean, I'm 6'2 and pretty big dude. When I'm putting this guy on, the cummerbund starts already past the midpoint. And then when I cinch it up, we've got quite a bit of overlap such that the, the shingle doesn't really secure down at the very corners the way that it should. But it's pretty solidly in place there. And if you're worried about the size of the cummerbund or you need it a little bit smaller, you can cinch it with some paracord in the molly at the back like we were talking about earlier. The only other thing I could really complain about in a nitpicky kind of way is even when we've got our trauma pads in here, the fabric at the corners and right here at the breast still is kind of loose. But otherwise it's incredibly comfortable and secure, even on a big dude. And you know, I started off playing airsoft with a full plate carrier, but the oppressive heat in the south in Georgia quickly made me switch to a chest rig to alleviate some of that terrible, terrible humidity. But I really want to get back to something that's got all this Powell's real estate on it. Speaking of which, I don't have a whole heck of a lot on it right now presently. Like we were saying earlier, I've got 11 by 14 Tactical Scorpion trauma pads inside the plate pockets just to give it some rigidity. But other than that, I've just got a few pouches on it. I've got the Altry Open Top M4 uh, Triple Mag Pouch on the front, a Condor Gadget Pouch on the side of the Cumberbund to carry extra batteries, uh, power cells, whatever I may need. And then the Blackhawk Strike Smoke Grenade Pouch to hold my Thunderbees. Then on the right side of the breast, I've got the Condor handheld radio pouch as well. I mean, that's basically it. And that's really all I need because we run skirmish games that run a, you know an hour to an hour and a half. But there's plenty of Powell's real estate on this thing if you want to run a more robust Milsom setup. You can run uh, side packs, backpacks, hydration bladder on the back, whatever you may need. And for just 75 bucks, it's pretty sturdy and comfortable. So there you go guys, if you're looking for a good general purpose modular plate carrier, especially one that fits those big guys and one for a pretty reasonable price, then this Glory Fire modular tactical vest may be exactly what you're looking for. So guys, if you like what we're doing here, like, comment, and please share the video because it really does help us get out in front of more new people. And definitely if you haven't already, join us on the Airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video that comes out every Tuesday with bonus videos on Fridays. And until then, we'll see you next time.